let's go. <laughs> right. Hello and welcome to yet another photo shoot video. Well, to be fair, I haven't done one in so many months. Yes, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> and since I'm back in the Netherlands, uh, we got a chance to meet up and Juliana has this really nice tailored dress. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thought that we could actually just try it here in the local forest and there's also this really nice bridge. It is like what, almost seven now in the morning? Yeah, we, we got we got up really early for this yeah. one. <laughs> and uh, we're just waiting for the uh, sky to become more golden hour like. Yes. So yeah, I think that would actually kind of add the glow to this bridge a little bit. Let's hope I'm not wrong about that because we're also covered by a lot of trees. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yes, I've um, been dreaming to do a photo shoot in this dress for a very long time and now finally David agreed to do it so I'm really excited <laughs> yeah so without further ado let's get into the video let's do it <laughs> As the clouds are covering our golden light, <laughs> let's actually start with the shoot. Yep. <laughs> All right, well. Can I have you like doing our test shots when you were here uh -huh. and just kind of like lean forward and yes. just look into the cameras yeah, at some point? And it would be very delightful if you could just take off your coat as well. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. That's the plan. <laughs> so for this shoot, as usual, I'll be using two different cameras. One is the R5 and the other one is the R6. However, my lens setup this time is not as usual simply because I'm using the 50 1.2 and the 85 1.2 versus the 28 to 70 f2. That would be my usual lens with the 85 1.2. In this particular photo shoot, I feel like it's nicer to get that dreamy 1.2 look rather than having the f2 which you know is still gonna produce that dreamy look but nowhere near as dreamy as the 1.2 lenses actually it's nice when you use your hand to adjust your hair like yeah when you do that could you also look into the camera yeah yeah just repeat the act again yeah that's great that's great now I'll be a bit closer Yeah, that's really nice. Um, seeing it down until about your knee level. This is great. I think the clouds are getting, I mean, the sky is getting a bit brighter. That's good. And for this shoot, Juliana has a very nice tailored dress for her and Personally, I really love the color and I think that it would go well with the sunrise light. That being said, before the sun was able to give that really nice burning golden hour light lighting, the clouds kind of swoop in and created this massive diffuse light into the forest. There was still a little bit of yellowish, goldenish kind of lighting, but it was very rare and also it's not as strong. That being said, I think that it's also kind of like a nice luck in a way simply because i think had the golden hour light be completely orange and yellow we would have lost a lot of details on the dress simply because the color tones of the golden hour would probably have washed away a lot of details on the dress because of the color tones of the dress as well so i think it's kind of nice to still have the hint of the golden hour light lighting but still preserving the detail of the dress since this is something that is really important to juliana as well so yeah in the background so shooting from over here yeah even though we're not getting that golden hour light but there is that morning light hitting your skin which is actually causing this really nice light and color on your skin yeah yeah there is but it's not hitting us um yeah 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 For this, I was still thinking of like a middle. Uh huh. Middle bridge, yeah. Okay. Like just just walking along the middle. Oh, that's fine. Path. I can do that. So I'm just keep like... Yeah, just just warm up first. Juliana behind the scenes. 
<laughs> okay, could you stop? Does that have a step? Too much, just compact a little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, could you go back three steps? A, a, a bit more. Yeah, around that. Okay. okay. Ready? Yes. One second. This piece of leaf is bothering me. Yes, take it off. These two pieces of leaves. Imagine me throwing it away and then the wind just puts it back <laughs> to where it was. Okay, so I'm walking or I'm spinning or... You're walking towards me, but ever so slow, slow, ever so slowly. Got it. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, just look around in this wonderland. You just got lost in it. Exploring, exploring. Where's my Prince Charming? Yes, precisely. Yes. Good love. Now I, I need you to go back and do the same thing, roughly where you were. And this time you can actually spin your dress a little bit more as well. Just a bit further back. A bit more. Yes, around there. Good. Three, two, one, go. Completely spin. Cool, cool. Um, could you go back a few steps? Yes, around there. Now you can just kind of like do your complete spin around there, but just move a little bit here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's great. Yes. Yes, I love that. Too fast, but yeah, just kind of like the... I like it, but um, for some reason... Could you... Yeah, yeah, now you're in the right position. <laughs> Suddenly you're in the right position. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I like the arc, like the, the arching when you spin, like towards the end. Yeah. Nope, like after you spin and then you kind of arch your back a little bit. Oh, Too much now? Just. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I like that. Yes. Oh, this is so beautiful. Not yet? The bridge. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, knew, I, I know you're talking about a bridge. I'm not glad you don't send it. Okay, let's go. Wait, are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So when photographing in the forest or anywhere where there are a lot of patterns and a lot of busy background, always, always try to avoid any kind of patterns that's looking like it's gonna grow out of the model. In this case, I find it really challenging to, you know, balance between good composition and the background itself. Sometimes I had to sacrifice by moving a little bit to the point where I don't really like the composition, but the background isn't as distracting. And sometimes I didn't even notice, but there were sticks protruding out in the background that looks like it was growing out of her. So it was really something to think of and usually it would be less demanding and since there are multiple cameras on me and I also have to think about if I'll bump into anything and also the weight of all the other things that I have to hold, uh, it really distracted me a lot and I couldn't always just look at the background if the background was nice and clean. But, you know, if you're doing this kind of shoot, please always be careful of the patterns and, you know, what is protruding out in the background, how the lines are looking like in the background as well. Yes, this is really pretty. Yes, this is really nice. Okay, let me show you some of the images. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna slip. It's kinda, yeah. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does, it does. Can you not see my legs? Nope. Yes, this is great. <laughs> yes, I, I love it. The only challenge for me is avoiding the background that the trees don't grow from your head. And that is right now a huge challenge. Yes, I quite like that. Let me just change lenses and I'll use a little bit wider angle. Much nicer. Just waiting for our guy to go first. Yes, that's nice. That is nice. Sorry, my arm. I just need to move your coat away a little bit. Just kind of like be in the sunlight. <laughs> yeah, be around there. Uh, yeah, wait. Ayo. Okay, yeah. Ready? Yeah, that's nice. Yes. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yes, I like that. I'm only seeing down to you about your knee level, mm -hmm. but I quite like that shot. It shows the details a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. Yes. It's okay. The details are now more visible. Okay, I think I have it. Yeah. Try the same shot, actually, uh -huh. the same pose down there where there are more light, more uh -huh. sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's nice. Kind of. Let me step back a little bit. Okay. Yeah, try it. Again. Yeah, got it. I think it's strong enough to hold the weight. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and just kind of like spread out. And then just look at like Prince Charming over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get just warm up a little bit and whenever you're ready okay oh this seems nicer oh no I mean I mean there's plastic wrapping it okay this is great. I love it. Yes. Yes. We don't need golden hour light for this now. This is great. Yes, I still see your full body though. Yeah. Now you look like a witch. No. <laughs> oh, this is great. 
great. This is really great. Let me change lens. Oh. I'm gonna be a bit closer. Keep on tripping on. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Okay. Good. And this golden or orange kind of trees in the background, so it's not like green everywhere. And I think I'll just be around here okay. into this patch of wet grass. My coat, yeah, I'll actually pick your coat up. Okay. Now the light is kind of plain, but I think it's okay. I don't want really to see the rose, just saying. Yeah, this is nice. The grass is not so pretty, but I'm trying to level it a little bit. Yes. <sighs> yes, this is nice. Like a reindeer. Yes. Brilliant. might have it. This is great actually. Yeah, we got it. Are you? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that was it for today's shoot. It's been very interesting. <laughs> it got quite cold at certain points, but... Very much, yes. <laughs> it's okay, we got it. I mean, just put a coat when we're ready and... <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. It was actually quite nice and also quite refreshing to just be out here in the morning and also just breathe in that early morning Sunday fresh air. <laughs> Seven degree fresh air, yeah. Yeah. yeah unfortunately, the golden light uh, didn't really come through because it was a little bit cloudy but I think the light was still very nice for the for the purpose that we saw. Yeah, I it, think yeah. at the end um, not having that fully golden hour light kind of like preserved the details on her dress quite mm -hmm. a bit and also kind of preserved the details on her hair and also on her face so that's actually pretty nice. Yeah. And I really like it at the end so yeah, yeah it's good to set your standards low. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and this one is going to the washing machine very quickly after yeah. this. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we did a good job at the end. We did a good job. Let's go. <laughs> 
So yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, any suggestions or recommendations or anything to share really, um, just comment that down in the comment section below as my tongue is slowly twisting up. If you need a free photography guidebook, it's absolutely for free. It's on my website. The link is also down in the description section below. So as some of my free photography guidebook and some of the uh, niche paid ones as well. So yeah, otherwise I thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Till next time, bye for now. Bye. <laughs>